Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm the TSG and today is Rebuilding Portsmouth Episode 2. Remember, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bell so you never miss a video. We're going to get straight into it. So off of the uh, camera from last episode, um, I played the four friendlies here. And as you can see, we didn't have a bad run actually. Three wins and one loss, and the loss was against Standard Liège, a decent team, and it was only 2-1, um, and we put in good performance. Um, if we go to transfers, if we look at the transfer history, um, we sort from the dates. Uh, from here, I've only made one loan signing so far, which is Benjamin Gar. I think that's how you say it. Um, or Gare, I don't know. I'm going to say Gar. Um, anyway, he's a prospect at City only 19 years old and I've got him on loan he plays on the right wing in behind the forward um, so I've been playing him here you could play him there down the middle but I've been playing him on the right hand side and during pre-season he's actually been really good um, so he will definitely be getting minutes throughout the season and getting played um, and if you also have a look on the transfers we got Thomas Towns, which is someone I didn't actually sign. I think it was um, the director or the head of youth development signed this one. Um, and he actually looks quite decent for a youngster, so we'll see how he progresses. He's got good potential ability. Um, and I haven't shipped anyone off yet either, apart from I've sent Alex Bass on loan to Fylde. That's about it so far. I am trying to sell Anton Walks. Um, he is a good player actually he's done very well in pre-season as you can see but I think James Bolton once he's back fit is going to be a better alternative and if I can get some money for him free up some wages I can then bring one or two more players to strengthen the centre back position and maybe uh, the central midfield so I think attacking wise we're okay now um, but yeah if we have a look at the games we've played you can see Anton Hawke scored in this game and so did Christian Burgess, our centre-half. Uh, and then Ronan Curtis with the only goal in this game. And then Marquise. Uh, and then in the Haven and Waterloo Ville game, we had John Marquise, Ronan Curtis and Ellis Harrison all find the net. And as you can see, we're now up to the first game of the Skybet League One season. We are favourites for this game, so we've got to go out there, put in a performance. It is a way, and it's not going to be easy. Um, so I'm going to go to my team selection now. This is the team that I played in the last game. Obviously, you can see Cannon's got an injury, and I think I would prefer to play Ben Close over him anyway in there. Um, we'll sort the bench out. Harrison Marquise is going to start. We'll have Curtis on the left. Gareth Evans going down the middle. Benjamin Gar on the right. The two central midfielders, Tom Naylor and Ben Close. At left back, we have Brandon Hornstrup, Downing and Burgess, the two centre halves. We're going to start with Anton Watts because um, he's still not completely fit yet. James Bolton. And then we've got Craig McGilvery in goal. So that's how we're going to start. Let's get into it. Come on! Here we go. Start of the Skybet League One season. We've been playing some nice football um, during pre season, moving the ball well. Is this a highlight straight away? Walks. Go on, put ball in. He's got it again. Evans. Oh, what a chance. 35 seconds in. He's had a header from six yards out. Oh, he's. He's got to bury that, surely. we got another chance here. Gares in. The new signing. Oh, and the keeper makes a decent save. I thought he was going to go down. I thought he was going to get a red card, that defender there. Oh, that was in a great corner. Had a lot of highlights in two minutes. That's a great challenge by Naylor. I'm actually really happy with the squad we've got because these players on the bench are all good enough to start in League One and probably push playoffs, push promotion. They're all good enough players for what we've got. So 
we just need to find the balance in making them all happy and keeping them all within the squad um, and I think we could have a really successful season well, at least I hope so look at this we've had 12 shots to their two 13 now 66% possession we've got to take our chances though looks like we've got a free kick here oh and the keeper saved it or did that hit the bar I think the keeper saved it 15 shots 17 at half time with 65% possession I'm gonna shout get creative because I'm not sure we've maybe been creating the best of chances they're all inspired by what we've just said so let's hope I'm gonna give it to 65 minutes if there's nothing there then I'm gonna no, we're going to make a sub on the bench we have some good attacking options so I'm going to bring on Ellis Harrison uh, for John Marquise and then I'm going to put Andy Cannon on for Gareth Evans and I'm going to leave it like that we've still got one more sub to use oh they've got a corner here clear it Harrison's got it God, look how quick he is. Go on. Oh, and the keeper saved it again. We've got to take our chances. I think we'll be focused in finishing in training next week. Oh, wow. Five minutes to go. I'm going to stick Ollie Hawkins. He's another striker up there. We're going to pause this. I'm going to go to tactics. I'm just going to swap this up. We're going to go two up top. Target man, support. And then we're going to put him as an advance forward. We'll keep that as it is. Going to push Ben close up to there. Can he put, put Naylor in there on his own? Actually, can Cannon play out on the left? Put Ben close down the middle. We'll go like that. We've got to go for it. Demand more. No. Nil nil draw with 64% possession and 26 shots. Their keeper's got man of the match. That does not surprise me. Oh, that's so annoying. Almost a perfect start. Well, in terms of performance, brilliant in terms of dominating the game, but taking our chances and that's three points that we should have had there and now we only take the one but nonetheless it was a good performance and that is promising so what I'm going to do is if I look at the schedule we're going to probably play the Tranmere game on this episode as well and then I will come back probably for the South End game Right, I force forwarded it now to Tranmere, and it looks like they drew their first game as well. Um, so we're both on the same points, but again, a winnable game, a team that we should definitely be beating. I'm going to make a few alterations to the bench this time, and I think we're going to start with the same team because it was a good performance we had last game. Right, let's see how this goes. We've got Evans with the free kick. Burgess at the back. And it wasn't a great header, really. <laughs> a free kick in the identical position. Marquise. Oh, and I think it's hit the our own player. Oh, their player on the line. Either way. That was close. Now close on the ball. Out to Hornstrup. Oh, don't give it away. This is not good. That's good football from them, though. Luckily, the shot was terrible. Evans. Great ball out wide.
Oh, horn strap. Put it in the box. Yeah. Oh dear. That was quite a lot to ask from in there, really. That was a header from the edge of the box. It's been a lively start to this game, though. Ah, oh, horn strap. Come on. Great save. They've had some chances, as have we. It's a great ball in. Oh, Curtis! Again, the head is inside the six yard box and he still heads it over. We just can't score. Unbelievable. Nice. I like the fact we play out from the back. Something I've been wanting to do with the team. Marquise! Oh, and what a chance that is! Strikers should bury them. Look, 71% possession so far. Had some chances, but still nothing to separate us. We haven't taken them. Nice, Naylor. Gare. Yeah. Walks. This is good. That's a great ball. Put it in the box. Go on. Oh, and the keeper's made the save. He was on the floor. And he still managed to save it. Not a great corner. Don't give it away. Here we go, another highlight. Up to Downing. Back to Burgess. It's good football. Keep the ball. Nice. Put it in the box. Go on. Oh, it's a good ball actually. Walks. Whoa. Powerful shot. Had so many corners. Nice. Go on. Marquise. Yes! We go 1 0 up. Come on. Marquise with the goal. It kind of came out of nowhere. One of their players dawdled on the ball in the middle of the pitch. We made the tackle. Look. I think it's this one here. He took his time. Evans makes the tackle, plays it into Marquise. Marquise shoots. And what a finish that is. Outside the box. We got one nil up against Tranmere. What we deserve. Look, 74% possession, 12 shots. Absolute domination. Alright, there we go then. Half time. Let's have a look. I think we should try. It's fine, let's take him back out to the second half. Same again. They're coming forward. Evans intercepts, well played. Here's the new signing. Back to him. Oh, it's not a great pass. He's in. Oh, terrible shot from their striker there. Beat him on the wing. Good save. Great save by McGilvery. He's actually had a good game. He's, he's done what he's needed to do. They're getting a couple more chances now. <sighs> Wilson hits over the bar. Might have to change something. Let's have a look. <clears throat> then we're going to bring Ellis Harrison into the game because he can hold it up. Up top. I'm going to bring Brett Pittman into the middle there for Gareth Evans. Defensively, I don't want to change anything at the moment. I need to run down the clock now. Five minutes to go. Andy Cannon's going to come into the midfield. Come on. Cannon. 
and give the ball away. Pittman gets a penalty. Come on. Who's taking it? Brett Pittman on the penalty as well. And it's a great finish. 2-0. Surely that's three points now. Great performance. Great start to the season, really. It should have been six points from the two games. But four points. I'm happy with that. Two brilliant performances. Dominated these as well. Very happy with that. Oh, that wasn't good to hand that over to the assistant. <laughs> I didn't even read what he was saying there, but we'll send him to the press conference. Walk's got man of the match. This is the one we're trying to sell. Uh, uh, I might. He's been doing really well. I'm tempted to keep him. And James Bolton, could we sell him? I'm not sure. He's a solid player as well, though. Either of them are quite good options for right back. Either way, let's have a look at our schedule and what's coming up. So we've got MK Dons in the Carabao Cup first round next game, and then we've got Sunderland, which is a massive game in League One. Um, and then we've got Coventry, Rover and Blackpool. And then we've got Southampton, Portsmouth rivals, but it's obviously their reserve team or their under-23 team um, in the leasing.com trophy. So that will be a bit of a rivalry. I bet there's a bit of an atmosphere there. Where is it? It's at home as well. Um, and then we're back to the league. So we're probably going to come back. We might come back for the Southampton game. We might come back for the South End. It's going to be one of them too. But we'll get the rest of these played uh, off camera and we'll come back for one of them. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please remember to leave it a like. I've been the TSG. Goodbye.